Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm excited to announce that we've got the new and updated uh, client portal available for you now within your Swell Enterprise account. Um, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to kind of introduce you to some of those new features that we've implemented into the client portal and how you can get started setting up your client portal really easily. And so in order to get started, first we will open the mega menu here and you should see the new client portal options available under the people tab. And as usual, you can click on the plus icon next to any of those to shortlist them to your sidebar. Um, but before we get started, there are a couple things I wanted to walk you through first. Uh, if you click on your username in the top right hand corner and click on client portal, the first thing you're going to want to do is go in and choose what modules um, are available to you in the client portal and what access they have. Uh, so you can see here that I've set all of mine to full access. And also take note, this is a little bit of a change from the last version. Uh, we have updated the client portal URL to now include your company name instead of the random hash uh, alphanumeric characters. Uh, and you also have the option to preview your portal from this client portal page. Um, so once you're done, just go ahead and hit update settings. And now we will go ahead and start digging into the actual portal. And so once you click on view portal pages, you should see that by default, you've got all of the default portal pages created. Now you can also add new portal pages uh, and you have the option to make them private, which means nobody can see them without logging in or public, which means you can share the link um, to that specific portal page and anybody can see that page. So they don't have to log in. Um, before digging into any of these, a couple more notable features here. You've got the footer, and on the next page, depending on how many you're showing per page, you've got the head. Uh, so if you click on either one of these, for example, uh, you'll have the option to add global footer or global header scripts. So if you've got your own tracking pixels or marketing pixels or live chat support, you should be able to implement that directly on your client portal page. And so for example, if I click on edit here, You'll see the little uh, update dialog uh, and it includes a syntax highlighter so you can just start typing in. So you'll see we did an example script here where we're printing hi to the console uh, an alert box of hello pops up from the client portal. Now if I back up, um, a couple more things to walk through before digging too deep into this. You can click on the preview uh, icon next to any of these to see what it looks like to your actual clients and so let me show you first what the editor looks like and I will open that in a new tab you'll see here I've got the editor I've just got some basic stuff here uh, we're using the swell enterprise merge codes to automatically pull in this clients first and last name um, but I can customize a message here uh, fix that typo for example and then I've got some buttons. Now you can add your own styling to these buttons, but if you leave them left as default, like I've got, then it will just pull in your um, styling from your company settings branding page. All right, so to add things to this, uh, it's relatively easy. You just click on the drag and drop editor here, and you'll start clicking through the different things you have available. Uh, and you can just drag those onto the page. So for example, let's say something like that and then you'll click on update and now if I go in and I actually preview that dashboard what we're doing here is we are impersonating you as a client logging in um, so there is the alert box that we put in the footer section that automatically shows hello and if I open the console I would see hi there now I've got a left hand menu and a top menu and we'll dig into that shortly but you'll see all my changes are reflected here and then if I want to leave this preview uh, I just click on the link to leave this preview and it uh, stops impersonating that client and logs me back into my account all right so um, with each one of these pages as I mentioned you can go through and you can customize those but another thing you might want to do right at the beginning is to go ahead and create your menus and so if we pull up the preview uh, that we showed previously, that would be your sidebar menu and what menu is at the top. And so you can create new menus 
uh, choose which ones are active or inactive. And so if I choose the main menu here, you'll see where I've got some of those links. Now I can also expand these links, for example, and change the URL. So let's work through an example there. Um, we're going to add the custom link option here in the drop down for you. But for the time being, let's just say website. And I'll go ahead and open that in a new tab and I'll add it to the menu. And so you'll see that's added to the navigation menu here. Now I can choose to change this link since it's saying website. We want it to actually load our website. So again, I'll open that in a new tab and I'll update that. Now this does also support the um, dragging and dropping in the hierarchy. So if you want to reorganize these, you can drag and drop them in whatever order you want them to appear. Uh, once I'm done, I just click on the save menu. Uh, you can also choose where this menu shows. And so for example, is it gonna show on the left-hand side or will it show at the top, navigation? And so I'll go ahead and click save now. All right, and now once that's saved, I'm actually going to um, go through a little test with you guys. So I have signed up for talk.2 in a separate tab. And what I'm gonna do here is I wanna uh, add a chat widget to the client portal. So I'm gonna go through the process and we'll just say swell client portal. Uh, it's gonna ask me what the site URL is. So again, if you uh, have your custom domain set up, you would of course use your custom domain. Otherwise, if you're using the default domain as seen here, you can just use that domain. Uh, so we'll copy that over. And I believe really all it needs is just the root domain. So to show you an example, I'm gonna take that out and I'll probably take it out all the way back to the swellenterprise.com. Next, it's gonna ask me to invite team members. I'm just gonna skip this and go to next. And now it's gonna ask me to copy this widget. All right, so I'm gonna go back over to my client portal and let's go to portal pages. Now I'm gonna open up the footer because again, this is the global footer. And if I click on edit here, so I'm gonna replace what I have, but I'm gonna replace that with the uh, talk to script. So I'll go ahead and click update. And now if I go and I preview the dashboard, for example, I see the client portal, I see the dashboard, and then I see our little chat widget here. So I can say, hey. And so I can hear on my talk to that it has shown that. And I'll reply back over. And as I go over, I can see that I'm chatting in real time with this client. Um, so talk to is a really good script. But this just shows you a little bit more of the flexibility that you've got. Uh, with the client portal and again you can customize the text and the messages um, and so much more uh, you can jump around to the different pages depending on this client and what they're able to see and what you set up and so let me show you how you can customize these elements a little bit more um, let's say I wanted to customize this text um, you of course have the ability to customize these options uh, just by clicking on the more tab and then settings uh, you've got your toolbar at the top where you can change like the font the size add images um, emojis whatever the case is and you can also add in for example uh, HTML blocks so maybe you've got some custom fonts or some custom scripts but you only want them to execute on the dashboard page uh, you can certainly do that by just clicking on the basic column or the basic tab there and dragging in your HTML block. And you'll see here if I click on that and then click on the settings icon where I've got the ability to add custom HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever the case is. Um, so we hope you're excited about it. Please feel free to share your feedback with us. We're looking to continuously keep improving the system and we're very excited uh, that you are using Swell Enterprise. So thanks so much and you guys have a great day.